Hi students, welcome back to this video. I love to get started with positive thought. So please listen. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. Uh, the topic uh, to be covered in this session is bryophytes. So we can study characteristics of bryophytes about their reproduction, about their life cycle, etc. in this session. Bryophytes are called amphibians of the plant kingdom. Why are they called amphibians of the plant kingdom? See, they can live in the soil. Here and all we can see they are able to live in the soil. But for sexual reproduction, they need water. So that they are known as amphibians of the plant kingdom. Amphibians of the plant kingdom. Then, what about their habitat? They occur in damp, humid places. Also, they are present in shaded localities. So, here all you can see the growth of bryophytes. See, all these are bryophytes. Very familiar to us. Then what about their body? Here, funaria is an example for bryophyte. This is a plant body. Here you can see gametophyte. This part from here to here, this is known as the gametophyte. And this part is known as the uh, sporophyte. Actually, the plant body is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus, thallus like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum with the help of unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. Rhizoids are root-like structures that help the plant body to fix to the substrate. They may possess a root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. See, here leaf-like. Then these structures are known as the stem-like structures. So leaf-like, stem-like and root-like structures are present. What about the main plant body? Their main plant body is gametophyte. That means they produces gametes. And these gametes are haploid. How do we show? Yes, haploid means N. Okay, plant body is gametophyte. Gametophyte means they produces gametes. And the plant body is haploid. Uh, what about the sex organ present in bryophytes? They are multicellular. What are they called? Plant body is gametophyte. That means sex organs are present in this gametophyte and the gametes are produced uh, from this uh, sex organs. So these sex organs are multicellular. The male sex organ is known as antheridia and the female sex organ is known as archegonium. So here the structure is given. This is antheridium. See, antheridium. Inside the antheridium, gamete is present. Male gamete is present. What is the name of the male gamete? Male gamete is known as sperm. Otherwise, it is known as anthracoids. What are they? The male gamete is known as sperm or anthracoids. Sperm or androsoids. Where are they produced? They are produced in the male sex organ. What is the name of the male sex organ? Male sex organ is known as androidia. Okay. 
And then what about the female sex organ? Female sex organ is known as archegonium. Look here. Archegonium. A-R-C-H-E-G-O-N-I-U-M. What is a flask-shaped structure? What about the female gamete? What is it called? That is known as egg. So here you can see the structure of archegonium. Archegonium is present here. It is flask-shaped structure. And the name of the female gamete is egg. Okay. Then what about the fertilization? Fusion of the sperm and egg. That is known as fertilization. What is the resultant structure? Resultant structure is zygote. So let us see what about their reproduction. See, androzoids are released to water and meet archegonium. So here androzoids are otherwise known as sperms. So sperms, these sperms are released to water and meet archegonium. So an androzoid fuses with the egg to form the zygote. So what about the ploidy of the zygote? The zygote is, uh, yes, diploid. The ploidy of the zygote is diploid to n. Why? Because the egg is, what about the ploidy of the egg that is haploid and what about the ploidy of the sperm that is also haploid so during the fertilization these two fuses means sperm fuses with the egg to form the zygote thus the ploidy of the zygote is 2n so here it is uh, clearly understood this is not the next plant body so some more uh, cell division should take place and also some more uh, processes have to take place. So listen carefully. What are the important processes? Then the diploid zygote develops into embryo. The diploid zygote develops into embryo. And this embryo or the zygote do not undergo meiosis immediately. Instead, they produce a multicellular sporophyte. All of you, uh, look here. You can see very clearly how this multicellular uh, sporophyte is produced from the zygote. Multicellular, sorry. Multicellular sporophyte is produced from the zygote. This is mature sporophyte here it is very clear the zygote which is produced after fertilization do not undergo meiosis and directly they give rise to sporophyte then next cell division means from the sporophyte it is not free living attached to the uh, photosynthetic gametophytic and derived nourishment from it so, in order to understand, how to uh, go back and show once again the sporophyte. All of you look here. This is Phenaria. It is an example of bryophyte. The plant body is gametophyte. Look here. This is gametophyte. Here, in this plant body, male sex organ and female sex organ are there. And this, uh, during uh, fertilization, a zygote is formed from the zygote. Sporophyte is derived. This is known as the sporophyte. Okay. So here the sporophyte is 2N. Sporophyte is 2N because that is produced from the zygote. Then inside the, there is a structure that is found in the sporophyte that is known as capsule. The three important structures are food, seta and capsule. So from the capsule, meiosis takes place and spores are produced. Meiosis takes place and spores are produced. So, uh, once again, uh, we can go through this. Archegonium produces egg. Anthridium produces sperm. Sperm fuses with the egg to form the zygote. And that zygote uh, do not undergo meiosis immediately. And they give rise to mature sporophyte. Then... Some cells of the sporophyte undergoes meiosis and to produce 
haploid spores. We know meiosis is the cell division in which the structure produced after meiosis are haploid. That we all know. So, from this diploid sporophyte, spores are produced. So, the spores are haploid. This is 2N sporophyte. Then, when the spores are produced, these spores are haploid. Okay. These spores germinate into gametophyte. So, the new plant body is produced. These spores give rise to new plant body. So, that is that uh, a new plant body is gametophyte. Okay. What are the importance of bryophytes? Look here. These are bryophytes. There are many ec ecological importance. Uh, some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds, etc. Then some of them, uh, sphagnum, that is a moss, type of moss that provide peat. Yes, it is used as a fuel. It has water holding capacity so that used as packing material for transshipment of living material. Then next use or next importance they are ecologically important because of their role in plant succession on bare rocks sometimes in the soil etc then mosses along with the lichens decompose rock making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants since Mosses form dense mat on the soil. They can prevent soil erosion. So dense mat of mosses on soil. Then these bryophytes are the members during the succession process. What are the two types of bryophytes? They are divided into two. One is liverworts and the other one is mosses. First one liverworts. Next mosses. So first we can study about the liverworts. These are liverworts. Look here. Very common to us. They grow usually in moist, shady habitats such as bank of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees and deep in the woods. Their plant body is thalloid. Example, Marcantia. Thallus is dorsiventral. Dorsal side is there and ventral side too. And they are oppressed to the substrata. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem like structures. Next is about their reproduction. First is asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is by fragmentation of thalli or the formation of gemma. Formation of gemma. Gemma is a special kind of structure. They are green, multicellular, asexual buds. Green, multicellular, asexual buds that develop in small receptacles. Receptacle means cup, gemma cup on the thallus. So gemma are green, multicellular, asexual buds that develop in small receptacles, gemma cups on the thalli. The gemma are detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals. They are uh, detached from the plant, plant body and they are able to give rise to new bryophyte. So asexual reproduction, uh, two methods are there. One is fragmentation and the other one is gemma. About the fragmentation that we have studied already. So no need to explain again. Then, uh, next is sexual reproduction. 
not about their sexual reproduction. While talking about the general characteristics we have studied already, in liver words, here we are giving importance to liver words, the first division of the bryophyte. So here also the same type of fusion means fusion of male gamete with the female gamete to form the zygote that is known as fertilization or syngamy. So the male and female sex organs are produced on the same thalli or different thalli. Then sporophyte is differentiated into sporophyte is differentiated into food, seta and capsule. Food, seta and capsule. After meiosis, spores are produced within the capsule. So these spores germinate to form free living gametophyte. These spores germinate to form free living gametophyte. Second type, type of bryophyte that is mosses. Yes, the predominant stage of the life cycle of a mouse is the gametophyte. General characteristics we have studied. It consists of two stages. Yes, among mosses, it is somewhat differentiate, unlike liver words. See, look here. The they consist of two stages. What is the first one? First one is protonema stage. First stage. What about the second stage? Leafy stage. Protonema stage and leafy stage. Then, while talking about protonema stage, that develops directly from a spore. It is creeping, green, branched and frequently filamentous stage. This is the stage. If you see this diagram, it is clear. It develops directly from a spore. And it is a creeping, green, branched and frequently filamentous stage. Okay. Then what about the leafy stage? It develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bud. They consist of upright, slender, axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. They are attached to soil through multicellular and branched rhizoids. So the stage bears the sex organs. The stage bears sex organs, male sex organ and female sex organ. Next is reproduction. First one is vegetative reproduction like uh, um, liverworts they also possess fragmentation and here one more method is there that is known as budding budding in the secondary protonema it is very important what are the two types of uh, sorry two types of vegetative reproduction found among mosses one is fragmentation and the other one is budding Next is about the sexual reproduction. Yes, a male sex organ is antheridia, female sex organ is archegonia. They are produced at the apex of leafy shoots. After fertilization, zygote develops into sporophyte having food, seta and capsule. So the sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than that in liverworts. Capsule contains spores. Spores are formed after meiosis. Mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal. See, uh, all these things about the sexual reproductions we have studied while talking about the general characteristics means their sexual reproduction. Okay. These are the different examples for mosses. Funaria. This is Funaria. And this plant is Sphagnum. 
we have studied peat is formed from the sphagnum then polished cup okay then sporophyte consists of food seta and capsule food seta and capsule okay students that's all about the study of bryophytes what are things we have studied general characteristics and the importance of bryophytes then different types of bryophytes there are two types liverworts and mosses then their life cycle life cycle of liverworts as well as mosses okay students that's all about today's class thank you for watching